Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today we'll be tackling one of your most frequently asked questions, gas versus electric, and which is right for you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell for even more hot content. So to answer this question, we're going to be comparing gas and electric in four key areas, including efficiency, control, maintenance, and then moving on to cost. So starting with efficiency, let's get into it. Okay, so most of you probably have gas central heating in your homes, but have you ever considered how it really works or how efficient it is? Well, central heating works by using a combination of convection and radiation. And before you start digging out your old science books, let's take a minute to break that down. Convection quickly raises room temperatures by warming the air, supplying highly responsive heating, whilst radiant heat, like the sun, warms people and objects directly and tends to last longer. So you're really getting the best of both worlds. It's true that convective heat is easily lost to open windows and drafts, but radiation warms on a deeper level without the heat being disrupted by the surrounding air which ultimately improves efficiency. However, that isn't to say that gas is completely efficient across the board. In fact, around 50% of the warmth can be lost through the pipe network in your home, especially if your pipes aren't that well insulated. And there's also the bigger picture to think about. You see, all gas boilers burn fossil fuels, which we know contributes to climate change and is the reason why the UK government has banned all gas boilers in new build homes from 2025. So no matter how you look at it, gas isn't going to feature in how we heat our homes in the future, which is why it might be time to think about some alternatives. Which brings me on to our next topic, electric radiators. Electric radiators also use convection and radiation to produce warmth, making them highly efficient when it comes to heat transfer. But unlike gas, electric radiators are 100% efficient at point of use which means every watt of electricity that comes from your socket is turned into usable heat without waste. Unlike central heating, many electric radiators are fitted with precise digital thermostats, which regulate temperature and prevent under or overheating a space, helping you to save energy. As standalone appliances, electric radiators enable you to zone your heating, programming individual temperatures and settings for every room in your property. This means you get to choose which rooms you want to heat, instead of wasting money heating the whole house like with a central heating system. Plus, as an added benefit, electric radiators are easily one of the cheaper carbon neutral alternatives out there. Instead of shelling out thousands on a heat pump, which is not only costly but harder to install too, you can spend a lot less on electric. And whilst much of the electricity generated from the grid also burns fossil fuels, you do have the option of pairing your electric radiators with a renewable energy source, such as green energy suppliers, solar panels and wind power. All options which would make your heating system completely carbon neutral from start to finish. So taking all that into consideration, electric radiators are a prime choice if you're looking for an energy efficient, future proof heating solution. Right, next we have control, which in essence refers to how easily you can manage and adjust your heating. So many of us find that this is an essential factor when it comes to our heating system. With rising energy costs, it's more important than ever to stay in control of our energy usage. Usually with gas, your whole system is activated when you turn on your heating, even if you just want to warm a single room. This could easily lead to heat being wasted, like previously mentioned, through poorly insulated pipes or unoccupied rooms. Now, this can be helped by using the thermostatic radiator valves, or TRVs, that are fitted on your radiators. These are the little devices that essentially let you manually change the temperature and switch the radiator on or off, providing a means to adjust the heat in individual rooms. So, thanks to TRVs, the option to heat individual rooms is there. But I'm sure you'll agree that wandering around your house and adjusting each radiator isn't the most convenient form of control, especially if you live in a larger property. The good news is that other control options are available. 
For those tech lovers out there, external smart thermostats let you connect your radiators to Wi-Fi and then program warmth via an app on your phone, even when you're away from home. The only snag is that if you're wanting to heat your house on a room by room basis, you'll need a multi-zone smart thermostat, which often requires professional installation. Top tip, if you go down this route, it's worth checking compatibility with the manufacturer before investing in the thermostat as depending on the model and age of your boiler, it may not be suitable. So, as we've identified, there are smart options out there, with the majority requiring professional installation, which isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but still an additional cost to figure into your budget. Moving on to electric radiators. These heating solutions offer a wide range of control options, from simple push-button adjustment through a bright LED control panel, if you're tech savvy, you can also choose Bluetooth and Wi-Fi options that let you control your heating via an app on your smart device. Features like 24 seven programming, motion detection, which is kind of cool, and even super modern voice control offer in-depth heat management that lets you adjust each individual radiator in your home with absolute ease. Better yet, unlike gas, these smart options are compatible with all properties and are usually built into the radiators. So no extra installation is required, which is a real bonus. All you have to do is connect your radiator to your internet router, download an app, and you're away. So with that in mind, I think it's fair to say that electric radiators offer versatile control without any of the hassle. Next on the agenda, let's compare the level and ease of maintaining gas versus electric radiators. Every home that utilizes gas should have a detector fitted to eliminate the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. It's also recommended to carry out an annual gas safety check by a registered engineer. Two important factors to consider regarding maintenance and safety. On average, a gas boiler lasts approximately 10 to 15 years. But like most appliances, you will undoubtedly run into issues that require repair along the way, involving new parts and labor costs. So taking all that into consideration, the safety checks, servicing fees, potential repairs, and ultimate boiler replacement, it's fair to say that maintaining your gas central heating system can be costly. We must also consider pressurizing your boiler and bleeding radiators, if you can find the key. Granted, a relatively easy task for most homeowners, but there's always the potential of a wet mess if you don't have an old towel at the ready. So to sum up, gas central heating definitely requires its fair share of maintenance. Moving away from gas and towards electric radiators, you may be wondering how much maintenance do they need? Well, drum roll please, zero. That's right, absolutely no maintenance, beside the odd dust and wipe down. Particularly important if you have sticky fingered children like me. You see, these heaters aren't powered by combustion, which removes the worry of any carbon monoxide leaks and means that you can dodge the yearly service. When it comes to safety, many electric radiators come with a range of protective features, like thermal limiters to prevent them from overheating, and an LST or low surface temperature function, which means the body of the radiator doesn't get too hot to touch. Great for that extra peace of mind, especially with little ones about. So compared to gas, electric radiators are the clear winner on the old maintenance and safety front. Now, the one you've all been waiting for. Let's see how the running costs of gas central heating compare with electric. Straight out of the gate, gas is a cheaper energy source per unit than electric, meaning you'll be spending less money on your heating bills in theory. Having said that, it's important to balance this with other expenses, such as money going to waste on heat losses, the ability to zone your heating, maintenance fees, and potential repair costs. Oh, and of course, boiler replacements because they don't come cheap. With electric radiators, we already know that electricity is more expensive than gas, but it's worth remembering how much easier it is to control electric radiators than it is to control gas radiators. With electric, you can warm individual rooms to save energy and adjust the heating to ensure energy usage is in line with your budget. 
And don't forget, they're 100% efficient at point of use. So you always know exactly where your money is going. All in all, gas is definitely cheaper per unit, but electric radiators offer enhanced controllability that lets you monitor and adjust heating, so energy usage aligns with your spending targets. Now there's one last point to make. So far we've been doing a direct comparison between the two, but that's not to say they can't exist together. Let's say you've already got a gas central heating system installed in your house but you're planning on making improvements to your home, an attic conversion or an extension, for example. You could pay a lot of money to get the plumber in to extend the pipes into the new rooms and potentially fork out for a boiler upgrade, if that's what's necessary to heat all of that new space. Or, of course, you could save yourself all that hassle by installing some electric radiators, which in fact, nowadays, come in all sorts of cool styles and finishes and give you all the amazing benefits that we've just mentioned, which is definitely food for thought. There you have it. We'd love to hear which heating system is right for you, so be sure to leave us a comment below. And if you can't get enough of all things heating, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video and check out the description for links to our socials. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.